Welcome or welcome back to Chalkline Crime, your new favorite true crime channel. Before we get started, we ask if you like our content to please like and subscribe as it greatly helps us grow this channel. And don't forget to jingle that bell icon to get notified anytime we drop a new video. Chalkline Crime drops a video every week. Thank you for your support. In the city of Wilmington, Delaware, a chilling crime shattered the peace in 2013. Wilmington, nestled between the bustling cities of Philadelphia and Baltimore, was known more for its historic charm than for its headlines. Yet in the early days of that year, a name began to echo through the narrow lanes and cobblestone streets, Kaheem White known as Joker to his friends and family. A young man with a checkered past reported by his parents to be trying to turn it around, abruptly became the focal point of a tale that was as tragic as it was unexpected. His story was not one that was told on every street corner, but whispered in hushed voices, filled with a mix of dread and curiosity. The mystery of what had happened to him, and why, hung in the air like a dense fog, clouding the collective consciousness of the town. The city was now on edge, its tranquility replaced by an uneasy anticipation. The feeling was palpable, like the charge of silence before a thunderstorm. Little did anyone know, a storm was brewing that would change everything. On a seemingly ordinary day, Kaheem White's life was tragically cut short. It was a day that started just like any other in Delaware. The sun rose over the horizon casting a warm glow over the city. Kaheem, a young guy with dreams and aspirations, woke up to the sound of his alarm, ready to face another day. As part of his routine, he had breakfast with his family, a simple but meaningful ritual that grounded him. The morning was filled with <laughs> laughter and lighthearted banter. His mother, unknowing of the fate that would befall her son later that day, kissed him goodbye as he left for work. Kaheem's workday was uneventful. He was a diligent worker respected by his colleagues and loved by his customers. Lunchtime rolled around, and he found himself at his favorite sandwich shop, making small talk with the owner. As the afternoon wore on, Kahim headed home, looking forward to a quiet evening. He walked the familiar streets, waving to neighbors, completely unaware of the unseen danger looming. Evening fell and the city was bathed in the soft glow of the setting sun. Everyone returned to their homes, settling down for another peaceful night. But for Kahim, the night would not bring peace. The hours ticked by. The moon took the sun's place in the sky, casting long, eerie shadows. Kahim's regular routine was about to be shattered by a sudden, unexpected event. An ordinary day was about to turn into a nightmare. As the sun set on that fateful day, a life had been brutally taken, leaving a city in shock and a mystery that begged to be solved. As the news of Kahim's murder spread, the hunt for his killer began. The state of Delaware was shaken to its core, their sense of security shattered by this unexpected tragedy. Wilmington PD, although experienced, had never dealt with a case quite like this. The community was clamoring for justice, their anxiety tangible, their grief palpable. The initial steps of the investigation were meticulous, each detail carefully considered. The crime scene was a hive of activity, as investigators collected evidence, combed through the area for any possible leads. The room was a grim tableau, a silent testament to Kahim's untimely demise. Each piece of evidence was a potential key, a possible lead to the identity of the killer. Suspects were few and far between. The community was tight-knit, everyone knew everyone, and the idea that one of their own could commit such a heinous act was unthinkable. Yet the investigators knew better than to let personal feelings cloud their judgment. They questioned everyone, from Kahim's closest friends to the distant acquaintances, each interview was a painstaking process, a delicate dance between empathy and suspicion. Yet the challenges faced by the investigators were daunting. The lack of a clear motive, the absence of any eyewitnesses, the scarcity of tangible evidence. All these factors made the case increasingly complex. The pressure was mounting, the clock was ticking, and the investigators were racing against time to bring the killer to justice. But as days turned into weeks, the investigation seemed to hit a standstill. Each lead seemed to hit a dead end, each clue seemed to lead nowhere. The once bustling crime scene was now quiet, the flurry of activity replaced by a deafening silence. Despite the mounting pressure, the identity of the killer remained elusive, deepening the mystery. Today, the murder of Kaheem White remains a haunting reminder of a life lost too soon. It's been over a decade now, and despite the best efforts of law enforcement, the case remains shrouded in mystery public speculation has run rampant, 
with theories ranging from random violence to a targeted hit. Some believe the killer has left Delaware, while others suggest they may still be hiding in plain sight. Yet with no solid leads, the truth remains elusive. Though years have passed, the memory of Kaheem White and the mystery that surrounded his death continues to echo in the quiet town of Wilmington. Police asked anyone with information on the homicide to call Detective Tom Curley at 302-576-3625 or the Wilmington Police Confidential Tip Line at 302-576-3990. Tips also may be submitted anonymously through Delaware Crime Stoppers, which offers rewards at 800-TIP-3333 or www.tipsubmit.com. Have you ever wondered what happened to Nefertiri Trader? Nefertiri, a vibrant 33-year-old mother of three, led a relatively ordinary life in the small state of Delaware. But on the early morning of June 30th, 2014, ordinary turned into extraordinary, as Nefertiri mysteriously vanished without a trace. Her last known whereabouts, her own home, a place usually associated with safety and comfort. It was here, in the wee hours of the day, that Nefertiri was last seen. The circumstances surrounding her disappearance, however, are shrouded in uncertainty, making her case both perplexing and haunting. Nefertiri Trader, a name that would soon become synonymous with one of Delaware's most baffling unsolved mysteries. A mother, a friend, a daughter, vanished into thin air, leaving behind a void that's yet to be filled. The mystery surrounding Nefertiri's disappearance would soon deepen, setting the stage for a baffling investigation. Nefertiri Trader was last seen in the early hours of June 30, 2014. The night was like any other in Newcastle, Delaware, serene and quiet, the town tucked in for the night. Nefertiri Trader, a vibrant woman known for her infectious laughter and kind heart, had just returned home from a late-night run to the convenience store. As she stepped out of her silver Acura, an ominous shadow loomed nearby, unbeknownst to her. A neighbor, looking out from his window, noticed a figure, a man, approaching Nefertiri. Without a moment's hesitation, the man forced her into her own car. The neighbor watched, frozen in horror, as the silver Acura sped off into the night, the taillights fading away into the darkness. The peaceful night had suddenly turned into a chilling nightmare. Despite this eyewitness account, the initial reaction from law enforcement was less than urgent. They assumed that Nefertiri, a 33-year-old mother of three, had willingly left with the man. This assumption, unfortunately, led to a delay in action. The critical first 48 hours following a disappearance often the most crucial time in any missing person's case, were squandered under the belief that Nefertiri had willingly absconded. It's a grim reminder that assumptions can sometimes lead us astray, causing us to overlook the facts, staring us right in the face. A woman was seen being forced into her car, and yet the response was sluggish. A mother, a friend, a daughter was abruptly taken from her life, her family, and her community, and the wheels of justice were slow to start turning. The initial response, or lack thereof, would prove critical to Nefertiri's case. The clock was ticking, and with each passing moment, the chances of finding Nefertiri alive and well were dwindling. What happened that night, and the subsequent actions, or lack thereof, set the stage for a mystery that continues to haunt Newcastle to this day. Once the gravity of Nefertiri's disappearance was realized, the investigation finally began. As soon as the shocking reality of Nefertiri Trader's disappearance dawned on her family and the authorities, the wheels of investigation were set into motion. The local police, backed by the family's relentless efforts, launched an exhaustive search operation, combing every possible nook and cranny of the neighborhood and beyond. In the early days of the investigation, Nefertiri's family was instrumental in keeping the search efforts alive and the case in the public eye. They plastered her picture all over town, organized community searches, and pleaded for any information that might lead to her whereabouts. Their desperate cries echoed through the silent streets, creating a chilling reminder of the grim reality of their beloved Nefertiri's sudden disappearance. Meanwhile, the police were following every lead, however insignificant it seemed. They interviewed neighbors, friends, and even acquaintances in the hope of finding that one clue that could unravel the mystery. Each day was a race against time, each lead a glimmer of hope, and each dead end a crushing disappointment. One of the few substantial discoveries made during the investigation was the finding of Nefertiri's car. Abandoned and desolate, it was discovered a few blocks away from her home. This perplexing discovery added another layer of mystery to the case. 
The vehicle was thoroughly examined for any forensic evidence, but unfortunately it seemed to raise more questions than answers. The lack of substantial leads was discouraging, to say the least. The investigation seemed to be stuck in a constant loop, with no significant breakthrough. But the authorities and the family remained undeterred, their determination fueled by the hope of finding Nefertiri. Despite the ongoing efforts, Nefertiri's whereabouts remained a mystery. The story of her disappearance, a chilling unsolved puzzle, continued to haunt everyone involved, a stark reminder of the grim reality of missing persons cases. In the absence of concrete evidence, theories about Nefertiri's disappearance began to emerge. In the shadowy world of speculation, several possibilities floated to the surface. One of the most haunting theories was that of abduction. Considering the circumstances surrounding her disappearance, it seemed plausible. However, despite extensive efforts, no evidence of a forced entry or struggle was found, leaving this theory hanging in uncertainty. Another theory suggested foul play could have been involved. Some believe that Nefertiri might have fallen victim to a nefarious act committed by someone she knew or trusted. Yet again, the lack of any incriminating evidence or suspicious individuals in her life made this theory equally elusive. A third theory proposed that Nefertiri, perhaps overwhelmed by life's pressures, simply chose to start anew somewhere else. As appealing as this theory might be, it lacks solid ground. Those close to Nefertiri insist she loved her family too much to abandon them without a word. Each of these theories generated leads, breadcrumbs that investigators hoped might lead to Nefertiri. However, every trail that was followed, every lead pursued, ended up at a dead end. Whether it was a potential sighting, an anonymous tip, or a hunch, each promising lead faded into disappointment, failing to provide the breakthrough everyone hoped for. Theories, conjectures, and leads, as numerous as they were, proved to be a tangled web of dead ends and unfulfilled promises. Each one, instead of shedding light on Nefertiri's fate, only served to deepen the enigma surrounding her disappearance. The lack of concrete evidence turned every theory into a mere whisper in the wind, and every lead into a path leading nowhere. Each theory, each lead, only deepened the mystery of Nefertiri Trader's disappearance. Nearly a decade after Nefertiri Trader's disappearance, the case remains unsolved. It's a haunting reality that echoes on the quiet streets of Delaware, in the hushed whispers of those who still remember that fateful day. Despite the passage of time, the search for Nefertiri is far from over. The resolve of her family, friends, and the local police department has not waned. They continue to dig, to ask questions, to follow leads, no matter how faint they may seem. The hope is that one day, a piece of information will lead them to the answers they've been seeking for so long. For instance, the Delaware State Police and the FBI have been working together on this case. They have revisited old leads, scrutinized pieces of evidence under new light, and even brought in experts in cold cases to provide fresh insights. Unfortunately, these efforts have yet to bear fruit. But that doesn't mean they're going to stop. On the home front, Nefertiri's family remains steadfast in their pursuit for justice. They've organized countless vigils, awareness campaigns, and even offered a reward for any information that could lead to Nefertiri. Their efforts have kept the case alive in the public eye, and more importantly, they've kept Nefertiri's memory alive. The case also caught the attention of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, which continues to feature Nefertiri on their website, keeping her story in the national consciousness. They, along with the family, continue to urge anyone with information no matter how trivial it may seem, to come forward. But despite these ongoing efforts, the sad truth is that Nefertiri's case has gone cold. Leads have dried up, and the trail seems to have gone cold. Yet the absence of closure only fuels the determination of those involved. They refuse to let Nefertiri become just another statistic in the annals of unsolved disappearances. Though the case has gone cold, the search for Nefertiri Trader continues. It's a search fueled by hope by the belief that one day the truth about what happened to Nefertiri will finally come to light. Nefertiri Trader's disappearance is a chilling reminder of the many unsolved missing person cases. This story, like countless others, underscores the heart-wrenching reality that every day people vanish without a trace, leaving behind a void filled with questions and unspeakable grief. Nefertiri's case, still unsolved, serves as a stark reminder of the importance of public awareness and assistance in these investigations. Just think somewhere, someone may hold the key to solving these mysteries. Maybe it's a memory, an overlooked detail, or perhaps a piece of information they didn't realize was significant. 
If you, or anyone you know, have any information about Nefertiri Trader's disappearance, we implore you to come forward. Your information could provide the much-needed break in this case. Remember, every detail matters, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem. Even the smallest piece of information could be the key to solving the mystery of Nefertiri Trader's disappearance. If you have any information on this case, please contact the Newcastle Police Department. You can submit a tip via our website at www.nccpd.com. Tipsters may also call Crime Stoppers at 800 tip 3333 visit their website www.delaware.crimestoppersweb.com or visit us on Facebook at Newcastle County Police Department. Alternatively, you can contact your local FBI office. In the still of the night, a life was brutally taken, a silence broken by an act so heinous it would leave a community forever scarred. In the heart of Delaware, in a quaint neighborhood known for its serenity and close-knit community, a chilling crime would disrupt the peace. In the year of 1993, the life of Linda Ann Moody Armstrong, a 36-year-old woman, was cruelly snatched away. Linda was a beloved member of the community, cherished by those who had the privilege of knowing her. Her tragic demise was a shock to the core of this peaceful neighborhood, a stark contrast to the tranquility they were accustomed to. The echo of her loss reverberated through the community, leaving an indelible mark of terror and sorrow. The news of her murder sent shivers down the spine of every resident, a reminder of the unseen terror that lurks in the shadows. The local law enforcement was immediately on the scene. The men and women in blue, who once patrolled the quiet streets with a sense of routine, were now thrust into an unforeseen horror. Their mission was clear. They had to find the monster who had committed this atrocity to restore a semblance of peace and justice to the shaken community. They vowed to leave no stone unturned to comb through every piece of evidence until they found the perpetrator. As the community grieved, questions swirled like a dark cloud. Who could commit such a gruesome act? What could possess someone to extinguish a life so brutally? The residents of Delaware clung to each other, their sense of security shattered, their faith in humanity tested. Yet amidst the despair, the resolve of the community and the local law enforcement was unbroken. They were united in their pursuit of justice for Linda. They rallied together, their collective strength a beacon of hope, in the darkness that had descended upon them. Little did they know that this was just the beginning of a mystery that would take years to unravel. On that fateful night, an ordinary evening turned into a nightmare. In the quaint town of Delaware, the 27th of March, 1993, started like any other Saturday. The humdrum of normal life continued, oblivious to the impending horror. As the sun set, casting long shadows over the city, little did anyone know that this peaceful community was about to be shattered by a chilling crime. Linda Ann Moody Armstrong, a beloved mother and wife, spent her evening as she usually did. She was a creature of habit, her routines were predictable, her life was ordinary. But that night the ordinary was disrupted by an unknown terror. As the clock struck eight, Linda was home alone, her family away, the lights in her house were on a beacon of normality amidst the encroaching darkness. However, as the night wore on, something sinister lurked in the shadows. The neighbors reported nothing unusual. The usual sounds of a quiet suburb filled the air. A dog barking in the distance, the rustling of trees in the wind, the occasional passing car. It was an evening like any other, until it wasn't. By the time the clock struck midnight, the lights in Linda's house had gone out. The beacon of normality was extinguished, replaced by an eerie silence. That silence would soon be broken by the discovery of a horrific scene. The initial police reports and witness statements painted a grim picture. There were signs of a struggle, a forced entry, but no clear indication of who was responsible. Theories began to circulate. A random act of violence, a personal vendetta, a burglary gone wrong. The list of suspects was long, but concrete evidence was scarce. The town was gripped by fear but also by a burning desire for justice. But as the dawn broke, a chilling realization came. They were no closer to finding Linda's killer. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the hunt for a murderer became a desperate race against time. The investigation into Linda Ann Moody Armstrong's murder was a marathon of patience and perseverance. It was a puzzle with missing pieces, a maze with too many dead ends. The detectives, relentless in their pursuit of justice, combed through a mountain of evidence, chasing leads that seemed promising only to end in disappointment. 
Lead after lead was followed, but each one seemed to evaporate like a mirage, leaving the investigative team frustrated and empty-handed. They pored over surveillance tapes, interviewed countless individuals, and scrutinized every detail of Linda's life, hoping that somewhere, somehow, they would uncover the clue that would lead them to her killer. The community, once vibrant and carefree, was now held captive by fear. The streets that used to echo with laughter were now silent, save for the whispers of speculation and worry. Parents held their children a little tighter, friends looked over their shoulders a little more frequently, and every knock on the door was met with apprehension. Investigators worked tirelessly, their determination fueled by the palpable fear that gripped the community. They knew they were not just hunting a killer, they were fighting a ticking clock. The longer the culprit remained at large, the more the people lived in fear and the greater the chances of another tragedy. The case became a haunting presence in their lives, a constant reminder of the grim reality that a murderer was still at large. The pressure was mounting, the public was demanding answers, and the investigators were grappling with the chilling realization that they were in a race against time, chasing a killer who seemed to always be one step ahead. Yet despite their best efforts, their tireless pursuit, and their unwavering dedication, the identity of Linda's killer remained a mystery. The face of the monster who had shattered the tranquility of their town was still hidden. His identity as elusive as a shadow in the dark. Anyone with information about this case is encouraged to contact the WPD Cold Case Unit. The Cold Case Unit office can be reached at 302-576-3937. Investigator Stephen Rizzo can be reached at stephen.rizzo at cj.state.d.us. You can also provide information to Delaware Crime Stoppers at 1-800-TIP-3333 or DelawareCrimeStoppers.org. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to catch a new true crime video here every week. Till next time, keep your eyes and ears open as you never know who might be watching. Chalkline Crime. Our story begins where the chalkline ends. Over and out.